Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Kwe. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today I'm going to talk about how to stop touching your face. Yes, as I've told you, I'm very passionate about pimples and acne and that kind of thing because I've had a really long battle with it or basically with them. And I've also seen people who have had a really, really long battle with those things. One of the contributing factors to lots of acne and pimples, as I've said in previous videos, is actually touching or picking your pimples or picking your face. Yes, and not only just picking your pimples, but also just randomly touching your face when you're not supposed to touch your face has been known to be a major contributing factor to actually carrying bacteria from somewhere else and landing it on your face. So basically today I'm going to make sure that I teach you how you can actually stop touching your face. Yes, it's difficult. There are some habits that are difficult to kick, such as also eating your nails, for example. Those are habits that are really, really difficult to kick. However, they are not impossible to kick. So let's get, get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe before we proceed and make sure to watch to the end. Maybe you might find something at the end that is actually not at the beginning. So let's get into the video. And what I'm going to tell you is actually just like eating nails is make sure that you find out what exactly is triggering you touching your face. Is it that you just find yourself when you're bored touching your face? Or is it when you're anxious, you start touching your face? Or is it when you're stressed? Or is it when you're happy? Sit down and analyze exactly at what point in your emotions do you touch your face? Because it's going to help you actually realize at what point you will be about to touch your face and control that point. So the next tip I'm going to give you after you realize what emotion is triggering you to or what exactly is triggering you to touch your face is actually to keep your hands busy when you know that you're going to be triggered. For example, if you know that anxiety makes you touch your face, make sure that you keep your hands busy when you're anxious. And what do I mean by busy? You can actually massage your hands. You can just purpose specifically to put your hands like this or to put your hands like this and to massage them and all that just because also massaging your hands together is also a way of releasing the anxiety it's also a way of releasing the the what is it called the stress so when you actually wring your hands together or massage them it's also channeling that anxiety to your hands and you won't find yourself actually picking or touching your face so that is the first tip that I'm going to give you about how you can avoid to touch your face when you're anxious or triggered. Another thing you can do is actually to pick a hobby that actually is going to keep your hands busy when you're idle or when you're seated. For example, knitting. Knitting has been proven actually to like keep your hands so busy that you, even when you're just idle or seated, you just feel like knitting and it's highly addictive. I think the people who always knit never stop knitting because it is highly addictive and therefore it will put your hands busy it's not addictive in a bad way but in a good way because it makes you productive and you can even end up uh, selling your products so knitting crocheting all those are things that actually keep your hands busy and that is something that i can give you as a tip to make your to keep your hobby or to make your hands busy yes because hands are not supposed to just be idle that's why there are italians and other people like me also talk like this because you know hands are supposed to be busy actually to keep your hands in gloves yes just the same way keeping your nails for those people who eat nails in uh, i think i'm going to do a video on how to stop yourself from eating nails despite the fact i haven't actually finished that battle but i've drastically reduced my nail eating habits is actually to keep your hands in gloves because even in nails as i've said the people are usually advised to put fake nails because it will deter them from eating so if your hands are actually in something you know you feel like they're they're in something you're aware of them so your subconscious mind will not control them as such because your sub your conscious mind is aware that you have wearing gloves so you'll be able to control your hands more because i mean this time around they're just not a part of your body that you're not even aware of and you know your subconscious is just controlling them 
So make sure that you're wearing gloves at some point that you feel that maybe when you're at home and you're idle and you're in bed or something that you will end up touching your face. So tips that I'm gloves. definitely going to give you is that you should... Oh my God, I just went blank. Oh, I just went blank. Oh no. For researcher. No, I didn't go blank. Another tip that you should actually pick... Sorry. Another tip that I'm going to give you is that you should make the people you live with aware of your habits and tell them to call you out or to mention it when you're touching your face. So basically, anytime they see you touching your face, they should tell you. So make sure you're telling a family member that you live with or maybe your husband or your boyfriend or your friend to tell you whenever you touch your face if you really want to stop that habit of touching your face. So make sure that that family member, anytime they see you touching your face, they remind you. And if you're constantly reminded, you're bound to be aware of the habit and eventually kick it. So those are the tips, guys, that I can give you to help you stop touching your face so that you can have a smoother, better face and avoid bacteria in your face. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. I do post content three times a week and I'm passionate about beauty, fashion, fake nails, fake hair, fake eyebrows, fake eyelashes, and even pimples. Yes. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.